Hello, in this video we will configure Hadoop Hive's ODBC driver for your Microsoft Visual Studio SSIS. Then I will show you how to expose newly created ODBC driver to your SSIS connection. After this, SSIS will have direct access to your Hive table in Hadoop for further ETL work or to load the HDFS file to your Microsoft SQL server. Okay, to start, you see that I have a PuTTY. This is a PuTTY program, which is I downloaded from internet. This is something I used all the time for many years, and I recommend this. It's just a very small file for my SSIS work. So as you can see, I am connected to my a development Hadoop dev server here. Okay, then you type Hive to connect to your um, uh, Oracle Hive. Okay, then if you do this, you will see that I have databases. Okay, and within that, let's use a this database training Okay, okay, you see the okay, okay, that's a good thing, okay? So now let me show you what's in this database, the tables. Okay, maybe we'll use this table, cells, end, okay? Select everything from cells, end, limit, and good enough okay so you see this okay we will use this uh, database training table cells in for this lesson okay okay the first step is to download a hives ODBC driver okay so let me just open up a browser and then Google that word okay here is my browser and then I have searched for Hadoop Hive or DVC driver. And then there are many different uh, distributors, as you know. But Cloudera seems to be the most uh, common one. Okay, so the, another one is a Hortonworks. Okay, let me just try this. It will make difference. So for this last exercise, we'll try this. Okay, so. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna download for Windows and I'm gonna download 32 bit. Okay, as you can see, let me move this. Okay, so 32 bit, let not click download. Okay, so I'm gonna. Okay. Okay, now that it's downloaded, I'm gonna click on this. As you see, Hive's ODBC driver, okay? So, then you go click next. You must agree to this. Say next. So place you, it's going to install. Unless you don't like this location, you know, it's fine here, but you can always change if you want, okay? Then you do install. Then click finish. After that is done, now the driver is installed. Now we have to configure the ODBC, okay? So you go here, click on the, uh, go to control panel, administrative tools. Then you go to a ODBC data source. So depends on uh, which, uh, uh, what do you call the, the bit you're using for, whether you're using 64-bit or 32-bit for your SSIS. So I'm using both for my SSIS. So, so but I just downloaded the 32. So let's just configure 32, okay? So here, then you go add. So this should expose the driver here. Yeah. You go, then you go click next. Now you have to configure your value here.
okay you get you type in a name for your data source I'm just gonna say a dude I And you can say some description if you would like. I'm fine with that. But over here, this is what's important. Okay, over here, you can give my database name or, or you can leave it blank. Okay, it's up to you. Okay, so I'm going to leave it as it is. So, you see, if you leave it the way it is, it won't expose the, the credential part. So, for this to expose, you got to select hive server true okay then over here then you pick username and a password then in my case this okay you leave this blank then if you do the test you see it's good successful so now we're done with this part Okay, next is to now the uh, opening of the Visual Studio. Okay, so let me open up the Visual Studio. Okay, here it is. Now let me configure a connection. Okay. Okay, here it is. Then you just right click on it. Okay, so if Okay, let me show you this. Okay, what do you select here? If you select OD, OLEDB, flat file, okay? So obviously not, not none of this, okay? So you do basically, uh, you wanna select is a ADO.net connection, and this will expose your ODBC uh, connection, okay? So, okay, let me, delete this create new one from the beginning okay so over here okay provider over here now you pick instead of sql server you select the odbc okay okay here you go that's it so then you go here remember we created this okay then provide a username and a password. Okay, this is a good sign. Okay, now let me show you that you have, show you the data, okay, that you have access to. Let's just create a one data flow task just for the example because this is not an SSIS lesson, so. So then I go here, let's pick a source, will be a ODBC source, okay? So when you do this, okay, now that we're in here, so let's just, okay, this is our connection. Okay, then as you can see, that it exposes all the tables and the data. Okay, this is the tables, okay? They're not databases, okay? It's default table name category. So what we were interested in earlier, I showed you is a training database, cell in table, okay? So if you do preview, Okay, voila. So now you have access to the hives table in Hadoop. So whatever business logic you can apply, you wanna apply, you can apply it here. 
then write them to either SQL a table or to a file, whatever you choose. Okay. Thank you very much for watching my video.